Bigley and Marotta. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bigley Blast. The Suns are the worst kind of super team. There is nothing super about them. They're all talent and zero heart. They have no chemistry and no leadership, which are symptoms of a much larger problem, namely their inability to give a spit, to actually care about these games as much as we do. At their worst, like last night, they are an affront to all Valley basketball fans who continue to support this disconnected, dispassionate, disengaged group who can't even find the professionalism to try really hard in the really big games. Something is seriously, obviously broken here. The Suns are currently receiving the kind of anger and backlash that used to be reserved for our NFL team. And from my vantage point, Devin Booker just had his worst overall performance on and off the court. It wasn't just the one shot he made in 40 minutes. It's this ongoing attitude, the two cool for school attitude after all this is his team footprint center is supposed to be his building this is his legacy he is the number one athlete in the entire state of arizona and these kind of recurring performances should not put him in chill mode before the arrival of kevin durant he was the jewel of our sporting community a growing superstar who did and said all the right things but his level of detachment tuesday night has jarred this entire sports town many of whom are now fearing a trade request must not be that far behind hey when the scoreboard says 35 to 4 and 51 to 14 it's fair to wonder about just about anything there are also many people now hate watching this basketball team many people who cannot wait for this season to be over and at this rate that won't be very long all right, today's Bickley Blast brought to you by my great friends at Chapman BMW who make luxury attainable. Find them online at ChapmanBMW.com. I mean, I don't get into the too high and too low thing. Um, just got to take it a game at a time. You know, our next task is tomorrow, and, you know, we'll cross that bridge once we get there. Vic, can I ask you one question in reaction to your blast? Sure. How do you really feel? <laughs> <laughs> very frustrated. Very frustrated. Yeah, I, I was. I was very, very good. Blast. I was. I was very, very angry watching that first half of that game last night. It was. I, I was actually, like I said, I literally had my jaw jaw hanging down watching this. I could not believe what we were seeing. Given what had happened against the Pelicans, given who was missing on the other side of the floor, given that you knew Russell Westbrook was going to come out with his hair on fire, and you've got a basketball team of Bradley Beal, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and that's what you produce in the first quarter. I tell you what, teams that care, when t- when big games get sideways, teams and players that care, they do something about it. They pound the ball inside. They get to the free throw line. They do something to stop that avalanche and these guys did nothing it just it was beyond beyond maddening Vinny yeah you said this yesterday before we left the studio you said the one thing you did not want uh, win lose draw whatever just don't come back then after the game and say we just we didn't match their energy they they wanted it more than we did and lo and behold Devin Booker after the game we weren't ready to play yeah, I mean, we talked about that coming off of the Sunday game against New Orleans, and that was it was mitigated because the Suns actually played okay, mm-hmm. and it was an acknowledgement, hey, New Orleans did play a little bit harder. Mm-hmm. They recognized the gravity of the situation, and they were the team that grasped control, and it was very similar. You know, I went into last night thinking, all right, the Suns keep saying they want to avoid this plan, right? To do this, I think they were going to have to win all four of their remaining games. They were going to have to find a way to win back-to-back games against the Clippers, Mm -hmm. go on the road to Sacramento and Minnesota, and do this. And had they done that, they would have been out of the plan. Not only that, more importantly, they would have reinvigorated belief among the fan base that, hey, this has been disappointing, it's been frustrating Mm -hmm. at times, but they are putting it together at the right time. And that first quarter last night took – you want to talk about – two steps forward, one step back. That was like two steps forward and 8,000 miles back last night Mm -hmm. is is, is basically what they put it out there. that's what it was. And again, going into it, you're having all these thoughts. All right, James Harden's not going to play. We know Kawhi Leonard's not going to play. Clippers are still a tough team. But this then becomes a must-win 
It does, and it yes. And, and why this team deflates whenever they're playing. It's amazing. It, it, had they gotten worked by the Bucks in Milwaukee the way they did that incited a huge round of criticism from the national media, had that happened with Giannis on the floor, you might go, okay, you ran into a buzzsaw. Yeah. But, it, but it's it's one after another. These but- Victor Wenbanyama less Spurs, Sean Gilgis Alexander less Thunder. And well, these teams are just smoking them. But remember the reaction in Milwaukee when Giannis didn't play and they gave up 140 points. I think they gave up 80 points in the first half of that game. And the reaction was, well, with Giannis out there, they become a more dangerous team because they're, they're playing and, looser yeah, right, and freer right, right. and right. shooting threes. Right. And and that's and we we heard a little bit of that last night. It's it's there's there's just no accountability, and I think that is what is driving people mad. Well, yeah, we're we're way past the point of. You know, telling me you care. Yes. Show me you care. Uh, here was Devin Booker on uh, losing to another team, missing stars. I don't know. That's a good question. Definitely something that we talked about before the game. Um, not putting our guard down, but, you know, we never disrespect any team. You know, there's a lot of talented players in this league. Here's uh, Frank Vogel on that same subject. Yeah, uh, you know, that we talked about that pregame. You know, we have to, uh, you know, other teams get a lift. You know, when, when their stars are out and oh, I get to shoot, shoot more shots, Russell Westbrook comes in, he's, he's been playing off the bench this whole season. He, he's going to be in a starting lineup. He gets to be, be Russell Westbrook again. Like, we understood that coming in. Uh, we just didn't compete well enough against it. I, I don't understand that thinking. I mean, talk about glazing over the issue. <laughs> Other guys get a lift when their stars are out? Yeah. It's it's the same thing as blaming the officials every night that Kevin Durant and Devin Booker don't doesn't yeah. have a good shooting night. It, it's deflection. It's he, here in this town when one of the stars is out. It's it, it, it doesn't lift anybody up. <laughs> it hampers uh-huh. their ability to win uh-huh. games, uh-huh. which is what yeah. should happen. Yes. Oh, we we talked about the whole first half of the year was us saying, "All right, don't worry, just wait till the big three. You can't really blame them. They don't have all their stars. Yeah. That's why they're not playing well." Mm-hmm. There wasn't. I mean. That's the really disappointing thing. Well, they they again, look no better now than they did it, it, at any point in the season. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Listen, as sitting there watching this, you have any number of bizarre thoughts that you would not have about this basketball team, but you said something that for a team that keeps talking about wanting to avoid the play and they're acting like they want no part of the playoffs at all. Yeah. They're acting, they're acting like one, two, three, Cabo. Or but vice they, versa, they're they're, act- they're they're yes. What I'm saying is, or they're it, they're acting like they locked like a top four seat up like a month ago, because they just keep saying like, oh, you know, wait till the playoffs. That's when it really matters. Mm-hmm. They've said not, that over and over not again. Guaranteed to make the playoffs? No, they're not. Think about that. There's mm-hmm. three games remaining in the season, and they need wins and help now to avoid the play-in. Yep. Which, if you fall to nine or ten. Looking unlikely. Yeah. But, but seven or eight, you got you got two games to win one to yeah. get into the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, and if if they drop all three games, I am hoping, I am really hoping that one of the things that they have done well is when they've authored games like last night, they generally come back the next night and are accountable on the basketball court. That's what I'm hoping for. And I'm hoping maybe the Clippers are gonna tap out of this one. But I, I, I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Well, remember Law Murray did tell us yesterday that the, the first game was the one they were going to go all in to yes, try to win. Yes, but so yeah, but, I, I, who knows, man. If the Suns drop all three of these games, they they could fall to nine. The could. Warriors and Lakers are both playing well right they now. They are. But I mean, the Warriors can catch them. I, I I don't. I'm not with the, the Lakers lost last night. I, I think they're they're going to stay in the nine ten range. Whatever. The it's, one constant between these two teams this year is three games. The Clippers have dominated yeah. them three times. Yes, it's true. Regardless of who's on the floor and who's mm-hmm. not on the floor, they've dominated three times. Terrence Mann looks like a damn all-star when he plays against the it, Suns. Uh, Russell Westbrook looks like an MVP candidate he does. when he plays against the Suns. He does. And, and again, and the the visual act of watching Russell Westbrook, can we get somebody who plays that hard? That uh, really, you know what I mean? A lot of teams would like that. Of course. (laughs) Of course. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.